So you may be saying to yourself, I'm loaded. I mean, I'm just rolling in the Benjamins and I'm looking for ways just to blow this money. How could I blow some money on some of my favorite tools? I like Swiss Army knives. There's so much variety out there. There's so much capability, but what's like the one drawback? Oh, right, no pocket clip. Hmm, is there a way that I could blow more money than some of the models themselves are worth? on a pocket clip for my Swiss Army knife? Heck yeah, you could with the Swiss Quip, Clip, Clip, Q-L-I-P. This little guy is exactly what it is advertising itself to be, an add-on true pocket clip to your Swiss Army knives. Now, what's awesome about it on the one hand is that what it's designed to do, it absolutely does. It's a deep ride loop over pocket clip that rides flush with the design, actually adds a little bit of ergonomics, makes it a little beefier in the hand depending on the model that you decide to attach it to. I believe there's over 19 different models that I counted uh, that this will attach to. So uh, a large quantity of the Swiss Army collection uh, from Victorinox would fit with this pocket clip. Now there are a few aspects that are a little wonky. The first thing is that I cannot access my tweezers, which I tend to use way more than my toothpick. It does have a cutout, but I have to use the toothpick to then try to, there we go, pop out the tweezers. I can't, you know, get to it otherwise. You gotta kinda, twi you know, do something to get it out and you can't swap those because of the way that they're cut and designed. The other thing is that it's kinda designed more for a lefty it feels like and lefties you know i love you here at the channel but you're only 10 percent of the population the 90 percent of us though it does ride fine if i'm a righty i have to put it in my pocket like this with the blade pointing up not like this with the blade pointing down into my pocket now i'm not worried about my swiss army knife you know popping up and nicking me or something like that it's just kind of wonky and then i got to pull it out and you're opening up versus normal what you would feel, which is opening down. So not a deal killer by any means, but it's just kind of a little wonky. For those of us who are right-handed, now it does mount through the small attachment that, that the little key ring goes through and you just feed it through with a little screw. One other downside is that it doesn't fit some of my favorite Swiss Army tools like the larger Ranger series that I love using in the outdoors and I would love to have a pocket clip on, but instead I still got to do my either really long wonky uh, lanyard or throw it in a pouch and it doesn't fit several of the evo models as well one of them being my favorite the evo 18. so uh, that's a downer this is on the tinker so uh, it fits perfectly on there and there's a ton of different models that it will fit on but honestly guys what really takes the cake and just kind of like i don't get it is i paid 26 dollars for this pocket clip that's all it is a freaking piece of metal and a screw 26 bucks uh, that's what I paid for and you can find them if you dig around sometimes for about 20 bucks but guys between 20 and 25 dollars let's say that's like half of the Swiss Army knives that are made cost that much so you're gonna pay the same amount or close to it that you paid for your Swiss Army tool to get a pocket clip on the tool just doesn't make a lot of sense to me and it's not like made in Switzerland or anything like that it's made in China it says right back on the back of the packaging and so that is a very easy way to just blow out the spending on your favorite Swiss Army knife. So if you need to have a pocket clip and it's on the list and you got more money and more Benjamins than you know what to do with, then knock yourself out. It is absolutely going to do what it is designed to do and it does it really well. And I like it better than say those key ring, you know, opportunities and things like that. But for designs like the Tinker and some of the other models that it is attached to, it's basically the same price. You're gonna double the cost of your tool just to put a pocket clip on it. And I think for many of us, it just makes more sense to come up with some other solution, either the little D-ring pocket clips or just keep it on our favorite carabiner or keychain. So uh, guys, I wanna hear from you about the clip, clip, and what your thoughts are. Is it something that you're like, dude, gotta have it? Uh, or is it something that you're like, yeah, I need to pass on that hard, hard pass which is kind of how I feel. It's a little bit of a hard pass for me on this. I would not go out and buy another one for one of my other Swiss Army tools. Let me put it that way. So I uh, want to hear from you guys, though. I will, if that's what you want, and you want to spend that crazy money, have links for you guys in the description below that you can go check out the couple different um, designs that they have. They have it in black and um, satin. I believe there might be one other color available. 
if that is something that you just are in love with and you got to have that pocket clip for your Swiss Army knife. But uh, until next time, guys, thank you so much for coming over. I invite you to subscribe, hit the like button, share with your friends and family. Uh, check us out on our other YouTube channel that my wife and my family and I just started, Live the Trek, where we're RVing full time. You can follow along over there as well. Completely different style of videos. Uh, and we'll have a link in the description below as well for that. And until next time, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.